Really? Is this all? Is this all that the forest has to offer to our lion pride today? Well, I am absolutely certain that Celestial is not impressed by this selection of sloths, but she will do whatever it takes in order to provide energy and sustenance to Mirha, her growing lion cub, who is still quite slow and small and struggling somewhere inside of the leaves where one of her brothers was supposed to be watching over her. But let's go ahead and gather up some food, aka these sloths, and I'm sure that Mira will be able to rejoin us in no time and hopefully have something to eat and get a little closer to being- Yes! Mira's now able to grow up and getting a little bit closer. There she is! All right, so the little one was actually hiding in the grasses all along. And hopefully as she feasts, she will become closer and closer to becoming an adult and truly being able to go out on hunts and to indulge in the strength that a lion has to offer. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Wildcraft where we are here with our lion pride getting ready to explore deeper into the jungle and seeing if we are going to collect up the secrets that we need to get closer to unlocking the saber-toothed tiger hiding within the temple. Uh, but first, Celestial's mind has been turned to her daughter. Her very first daughter, who she is extremely excited, has been born and can follow after her footsteps to help to guide the lion pride. Since, of course, the females are the ones who guide a pride. Yay, Amparis, she's grown up! Sweet! Alright, so now we need to go ahead and we need to help her gain what strength we can. And we're going to try to get her leveled up while we continue to explore the jungle. This is fantastic. Hopefully it will get closer and closer as Mira adjusts and becomes stronger. Look at the size of our pride now. We'll get closer and closer to being able to tackle more and more of the strong creatures that roam through all of the worlds. And with the help of our lions, we'll be able to expand the influence of our starry skies ancestors. And of course, find some really cool rare things too. <gasps> like the silver fangs we're looking for, of course. So guys, if you missed it a couple episodes ago, we were actually talking about how our tigers are currently on a quest from the Starry Skies ancestors to take out these snakes. Because some of these snakes of the snake clan actually have special silver fangs. And if we collect enough of those silver fangs, we'll be able to go ahead and unlock some very special hats that we can actually get. Uh, let's see, is there one for the... there's not really one? I mean, this could technically be one, but I feel like these would be the fangs of a legendary beast, actually. So if we take out the Liger twice, I think that we'll give ourselves this as the fangs of the legendary beast. Um, is there anything else that the silver fangs could kind of be part of? Maybe this. I actually could see those two silver fangs could make this skull mask. So we might unlock this skull mask after two silver fangs. But there are many masks like that that utilize the fangs collected from these pythons. However, in order to see if we got a silver fang, we have to defeat a python and then roll my dice within a die. Which means I have a little dice, you know, six-sided dice, that's inside of a six-sided dice. And if they both roll the same number after we kill a python, then we get one of the silver fangs. So we want two of them for the lions to unlock their special hat. And we want to have um, five of them for the tigers to be able to unlock their specialty. Gosh, and it's going to be a little harder to get the hunting done <laughs> now that we have so many creatures. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and see. We did not get the silver fang from that, which is a little bit frustrating, but we'll get there eventually. And I wonder if we can take out the liger. I don't know if we're strong enough. Oh, and actually, did that level up... Mira, it did. All right, we need to get her leveled up with all of the strength from the elixirs that we currently have. And I think we should probably just like fight everything at this point, at least until the night passes. I feel kind of bad for this <laughs> red panda. I mean, come on, it literally stumbled on a very hungry lion pride. There we go. And we will gain some of that, that energy. Oh, did we just have, oh, hey. Again, probably not the best idea, friend. I don't want to judge your life choices, but I appreciate your your courage at trying to defend your, your friends. 
But don't feel bad for them, guys. This is the spirit realm after all. So these creatures aren't dying. They're just going to respawn after we take just a little bit of the energy we can from them. <gasps> yes, more snakes. All right, let's come over. We'll land one blow. And then we'll allow our family to do the rest of the work. Because this is what a lion pride is supposed to be for, after all. That kind of strategy that we're able to use. Excellent. And that actually takes care of two of the members. There we go. Jeez, and now that we have so many... Now that we have so many lions to feed, I don't think we'll actually waste as much food anymore. Alright, did we get a silver fang from that? No and no. Ah. It is much harder to get the silver fangs than I thought it would be. Mira did level up though, which is really good. Ooh, and we are already running low on our elixir, but we need to get her as maxed up as we possibly can. All right, let's come over. Another very unfortunate red panda. And then we might try healing up a little and we might try seeing with five lions, if that is actually enough to be able to take out the Liger. I'm very excited about the idea of taking out the Temple Liger. He's really amazing looking too. All right, let's see. There's no water here to drink from. Oh, look, there's one of the snakes. Man, they look so cool. Oh, there's two snakes. They really do look so cool when they come up out of the grasses like that. There we go. Oh, geez, it's really strong. So I do need to watch out for that. And oh, look at that. I think Pierre probably leveled up quite a bit. She's learning so much and gaining so much strength from her family. All right. Yeah, we need one more kill and then we'll be able to really get Celestial recovered. Uh, and yes, Mira has actually gained quite a bit. We're going to give her some speed and power for now. All right. Can I level up the moon bats yet? I cannot. Curses. I really need to, but we don't have any of the pet elixir, unfortunately. All right, let's carry on. I would love to be able to rest. Oh, an elephant herd. If we actually sit down and rest for a minute, can we regain our energy faster? I don't think we can, but we can go ahead and we can observe for the first time as the lions, the temple where we might give ourselves our first challenge of potentially, potentially being able to take out that Liger. I think it might be beyond us for now, but we'll have to see. And we also have the potential of getting a lot of food from these wonderful elephants. We finally have met our match for how hungry. I don't think just chasing down some deer in the forest is going to work anymore when we have this many members in the family. How hungry our lion pride is and what food is around. So let's take out this entire herd of elephants. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and see. Oh my gosh. There's one. The elephants are actually really easy hunting for our lions. I can't believe it, but it's true. They're actually a little easier to hunt in some ways than the snakes. Oh my gosh, and there they go. All right. Let's go ahead and let the whole pride feast. We don't want to let any of the food go to waste. And for the very first time, we can actually just send them from like spot to spot and everybody can get something. There we go. Hopefully before it all disappears. Come on. One last one. Yes. All right. Excellent. With that, how high up Mira has gone up again. We now no longer have enough elixir, but let's see what we can do when it comes to fighting the Liger. I am a little curious. I don't know if this can actually be achieved, but we have a lot of members in our pride and here is the Liger that we are supposed to face off against. The Liger defending the temple. He looks amazing. He looks so freaking amazing. I would love... Yeek! Go, 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 Celestial, go! Jeez! All right, he's extremely strong. He looks amazing, and we spent so long admiring how he looks. 
<laughs> that we were not expecting to go ahead and get smacked because Celestial just was not prepared. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, and he's really fast. He's a lot faster than I thought he would be. So I don't think that that is actually going to be something we can achieve. And he was not going to back down easily. Maybe if we take out some of these snakes, we'll be able to like get our bearings a little bit better. But I can't believe that. He is so strong. I think that he's actually something that the whole Starry Skies pack would look up to in strength because we've never run into such a beautiful majestic boss before and he guards this temple full of all sorts of treasures that we might actually start unlocking and getting access to. Why did they go after the, the far snake and not the- Oh jeez! Alright, alright. Alright, that's good for you guys but we still have one last snake. Come on, family. I can't let this snake get me. It's kind of strong. What? We made another one mad? This is ridiculous. Alright. Again, family. Don't let me get hit. There's literally... Okay, that's four snakes. I can't believe we just took out four snakes. They clearly are the guardians of the temple. The snake guardians. Like, all of these are the guardians of the temple. One snake... Two snake, three snake, four snakes, and not one of them, not one of them had what we were looking for. Are you kidding me? Not one of the four snakes we just took out had the silver fang. I am so irate about that. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. That's just the way that the cookie crumbles sometimes though. And that's just the way that the prey are clearly hiding the very strong skills that they've got. And hopefully, with the help of our family here, we'll be able to take out a couple more of them. Mira must be ridiculously high level by this point. These snakes have a bite. These temple snakes have a big bite. I, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. All right. And now there's like not enough food to go around, so we can't level as easily. Holy cow. We definitely need to be able to take out some of the stronger creatures now. Or maybe just like go and confront the bear of the forest again. But I think we're doing a good job. Definitely can't take that guy on. He's amazing. I really wish we could because what a beautiful liger. But perhaps the next set of blessings from the ancestors will give us a little bit of guidance into what we should do next. Maybe it is finally time to take our, ty or our lions onward, and if we can't defeat this boss, go defeat one of the bosses of the other realms. So let's see what guidance they might offer us in our ancestor blessings tonight, especially because we need more elixir, please, so that we'll be able to take care of Mira. And to Celestial, we will give this wisdom. All right, what is she gonna get today? Celestial just got a celestial kitten. She's being told to be on the lookout and she's also perhaps being told that we need to work more on our tiger alliance to be able to really get into this jungle area. But she just got a kitten. That is Celestial's kitten because she likes small tiny little baby kitties and oh my gosh. She now has another adopted daughter who will never grow as big as her daughter Mira, but will definitely be one to be by her side, as fierce and ferocious as any wild kitten may be. Oh my word. Okay, I know exactly who this kitten needs to be too. Uh, we're gonna reveal that shocking twist next time for sure. But to Leonis, her mate. A new skin so he saw a new type of crocodile and he's actually thinking about pet strength so yes we can level up the celestial kitten and or the moon bats and a lot of elixir a lot of strength to the whole pride a reward for keeping his eye out and being able to help the whole pride to their sons we gift these two all right oh hey cool Oh, that actually would look really good on Mira. So actually Shadow found a wonderful uh, tapestry, a, a tapestry inside of the temple that he is able to give to his sister Mira so that she too can have some fancy clothes to wear. We also got a few acorns, yes, and some strength. And then to his brother, we got 
<laughs> some green eyes on the crocodile, perhaps telling us to keep an eye on the greenery around here, and a duplicate for the lynx, which is really wonderful. We'll say that some of the secrets about what might happen to be in the temple. Also some elixir. And then finally for Mira herself, her ancestor blessing of the day is a legendary action for the horse, which is amazing and perhaps implies some sort of royalty that we might be able to work with with the horses in the future. And a boost to the bears because we have not visited the bears in forever, but it's good to see that their family can now grow. Holy cow. <laughs> that is so exciting, and I cannot wait to see the celestial kitten next time, you guys. That's gonna be extremely exciting. And uh, until then, we will go ahead and we will carry on with trying to work our way through the mini snake guardians of the temple and being able to make our lion pride stronger and getting ever slowly closer and closer and closer to our dreams of the moon bat's eggs giving us transformation powers and uh, being able to see a tiger cub born soon. We need we need more of the acorns before we're able to make that happen though because we need to be able to get our saber tooth tiger. So all right, if you guys could do please leave a like for the ever growing strength of our lion pride. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.